Is this the new king of portrait AI rendering? Hello, my friends, how are you doing? Today, I will show you Realism Engine SDXL version 2, which just came out and has amazing high quality for the skin details, but also other parts of the images. So, of course, on the website, you see here some sample images, but I would highly suggest to you to scroll down because on the lower part, you can find a lot more images. And of course, with that, different prompts, different settings, all of that very good. I use this example here, which is absolutely stunning from the details, also from the clothing. And the prompt is very detailed, the negative prompt also. We see here some settings that are used. And that's actually the very interesting first part to look into. Because when we look at the model page, there are some suggestions down here. And I find that not all of them really hold up. For example, here they have a sampler suggestion with DPM++ 2SA. I didn't find that to be the best one. And for the high res sampler, this is suggesting DPM++ SDE Keras. Also down here, it suggests for the high res upscale ESR Gen 4X. Again, I didn't find that to be the best version. And it says refiner switch at 0.9. Now, personally, I didn't really see a difference between using or not using a refiner in this case. Also take notice from the model name that the VAE is baked into the model. So let's go over to Automatic 11.11 and have a look at what this means for us. So of course, up here, we're going to load the model. We have set the SD VAE to Automatic Clip Skip 1. I explained at the end of the video how to get these two selections. Then down here for the sampling settings, even in the text to image method, I'm using DPM++ SDE Keras. I use 40 sampling steps here. That's a little bit high, but I found that a higher sampling steps give much more detail to the image. You can get nice results with as low as 10 steps, but they are not going to be as detailed. For the CFG scale, in this case, I'm only using five. And as you can see here, I'm not using high risk fix. I'm also not using a refiner. So after you've rendered the image that you like, you might want to click over here on send to image to image. Again, let's have a look at the settings I'm using here. So I'm using again DPM++ SDE Keras. Also here, I found that 40 steps, which is pretty much for upscaling, gives you very, very detailed images. I use resize by and set this to two. For the CFG scale, in this case, I'm using seven, but you can also use five as in the text to image. And for the denoise strength, I'm using 0.2 so that it's staying as close as possible to the original image. Down here in the scripts, I'm using the ultimate SD upscale. If you don't have that, you need to install the extension for ultimate SD upscale. For the upscale model, in this case, I'm using the 4X full hardy remarky upscale. I'm gonna link that below the video. And here to save some render time, I'm using a tile width of 768. As you can see here from the full screen zoom in, the details are absolutely fantastic. There's very much detail in the hair. Also pay close attention to how much detail is in the skin and especially skin texture. This is very good. And then even down in the clothing, we have a lot of detail and actually pattern that makes sense for a knitted sweater. So overall, this is some of the best details I've ever seen in portrait AI models. And I can absolutely highly suggest you to try out this model especially with the settings I showed you today. Now let's have a look where you get the SDE VAE chooser and the clip skip slider up here. You want to go to your settings and then on the left side, you want to look for user interface. Next, you want to scroll down to look for the quick setting list. Now here you want to add SD VAE and then also clip skip stop at last layer. Next, you want to click here on the apply settings and then here on the reload UI. Let me know what you think about this model in the comments. Thanks for watching and leave a like if you enjoyed this video. See you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah, 